In this video, we will install Cloud Panel, a free hosting control panel. Cloud Panel support various CMS like Symfony, Drupal, Joomla, Nextcloud, Laravel, and WordPress, and many more. Cloud Panel technology stack consists of Debian, Nginx, MySQL, Node, PHP, Redis. To install, we need a server with Debian 10. So let us go to LightSail, Amazon LightSail, and create a server. Click on Create Instance. Here the instance location, click on change location. You can select one of the location you need. In this case, I will select Mumbai. Uh, under select platform, uh, click on Linux Unix. Here you need to select OS only. Select Debian 10. That is a version supported by Cloud Panel. Scroll down. You can create a key here. By default, it will use the key with name default. To take backup, you can click on this Enable Automatic Snapshots. Click on the checkbox if you want to take a backup. Here you can select the time for the backup. Under Choose Your Instance Plan, you need to select which plan you need. In this case, we will go with the $10 plan. That gives you 2 GB RAM, 1 vCPU and 60 GB SSD, 1.5 TB traffic. Here you need to give a name for the server. Okay, I will give the name Cloud Panel Server. Click on Create Instance. The server is getting created. Now let's see what ports we need for this. Click on Getting Started. If you click on Amazon Web Services and scroll down, you will see the ports required. The ports required is 443, 8443, then SSH port. HTTP port 80, HTTPS port. So let us go to the server, click on networking. First of all, we need to make a static IP for this server. Currently, this IP, this will change if you stop the server and start the server. So let us make the IP static. For that, click on static IP. Then give it a name. I will give the same name ip hyphen cloud panel server and click on create click on amazon light sale logo then click on the server again then networking now we have a fixed ip here the ip address have changed now we need to uh, open the ports in the firewall first of all we need https port open click on create we need this port open 8443 copy it and paste the port here and click on create now we need to log into the server for that we you can click on this connect using ssh let us become user root sudo su now we have to run the commands to install the cloud panel for that go to the documentation click on other and this is the first command we need to run apt update apt minus y upgrade apt minus y install curl duplicate sudo let us copy this command and paste in the terminal next we need to run this command this will install cloud panel copy click on copy then paste the command here on the terminal and this may take some time to finish so i will pause the video and continue after the install cloud panel installation is completed we can log into the cloud panel at this url https ip address colon 8443 let's go to that url now it shows the self-signed ssl warning to continue click on advanced then proceed with proceed to IP unsafe it is not unsafe because you know this is a self-signed SSL so we need to create a user here first name admin admin and we need to select a password you can set time zone here agree to the terms and conditions create user now you can use the username you just created to log in to create a domain name, you can click on the domains menu. 
click on add domain then enter your domain name here and then document root get auto selected that is home cloud panel docs then domain name then you need to select the virtual host template this will be a wordpress website so select the wordpress and the php version is 8.0 we have other version 7.4 we will go with the 7.4 because 8.0 is newer click on add domain okay we have one domain name now we have one domain name now then you can create the users ssh users and ftp users let us create an ssh user for this domain uh, this is the username and I enter a password okay, we have a new user created let's verify the SSH is working for that let us connect from terminal take the terminal then type in SSH then we need username this is the user we just created copy and paste it there then you need to type in the IP address this is the IP address of the server now you get the SSH key warning type yes to accept the key now enter the password we are logged into the server our websites are in the HT docs folder so change to HT docs ls minus la to see the files we have the domain name here okay let us create a file here one dot text so ssh is working you can use the same credentials for sftp also if you want to create a database you can go to the, the databases link uh, click on add database you can just enter the database name username and uh, select a password click on add database you have php my admin available here click on php my admin to access the php my admin and there is services allow you to restart uh, mysql nginx php and redis to change your password go to accounts click on your name click on accounts then you can change the password here under security you have the option to enable two-factor authentication